All right, so why don't we take all those documents, those receipts, those business contacts, and store them electronically. Clear away all that clutter. So no more filing cabinets, um, no more big old cardboard boxes. And what the neat desk does, not only does it make it so much more organized, it makes it easy to find those documents and those receipts when it comes time to search for them. This available today on five easy payments of $74. No charge for the shipping and handling. That's free. That saves you over $13. And here to tell us more about it is Brett Hamilton, who always brings us innovative electronics here to QVC. All right, so I see you've there already it got it going. That's mm -hmm. it, clearing the clutter. So right off the top, people are seeing this and they're going, it's a scanner, I get it. It's not just a scanner. The difference between what the Neat Desk does and every other scanner on the market is that it's not only making this image part of your, your searchable database now, but it allows you through something called optical character recognition to be able to search any word, any title, any phone number, any business card, anything on a receipt, anything on a bill, a warranty, an instruction manual, a recipe, so that you can throw all this paper away and everything will live now in a digital filing cabinet inside your computer with the free software we give you. It's PC, it's Mac, okay, good. and it could not be easier. Yeah, for those of you wondering, can I use it on both? Yes, you can. So and all these recipes, right? Well, I notice you are not feeding everything one anything. by one. Nope. You've got receipts, you had those full page letter size documents, and I even see some business cards in there. Yeah, so you can stick 15 of each, or you can remove the little tray and put up to 50 documents at one time. The reason I'm showing you all this at once is because you pop them in, you hit scan, you walk away, and when you're done, the most amazing part about all of this is that not only can you throw this stuff away, but we can take a random business card inside here and then actually be able to search anything that's on there. Mm -hmm. So you go through and you're like, ah, let's see. There was this guy, Dan. I know that he does car work. He does automotive stuff, but I lost his business card or I threw it away. Mm -hmm. It's a year later. All I know is Dan. Look, this is, by the way, this is just a replica of my computer so everybody can see it. This is the laptop. That's the neat desk right there. Go up to the top and look for Dan and search Dan and anything that I've scanned that has Dan that has Dan uh -huh. is going to pop up. So it's not just business cards, it's receipts, it's whatever it is that you're looking for. And in fact, I've got all these folders. Oh, let's look, a little how to right here. This is not what we're looking for. This is what we're looking for. Oh, look, he found it. There's the business card, the original image, and then everything to do with Dan Hughes. And his business is right there. The name so of the it company. populated that by itself? Yeah, it put all that information in there. What's nice is that if it misses something or you want to add additional notes, you want to add contact information, you want to put a second phone number, I can go another and edit. address. Yeah, you can go inside and edit all that. So think so about it. So it's not just uh, copying, it's recognizing. Exactly. So it's knowing, hey, this is Dan. If you want a Dan, I can pop it up. And how many documents did you just? Scan. So we did 15 of each size. We did 15 documents, we did 15 receipts, and you can do up to 15 business cards all in one scan. Or and pop that was in like out. less than a minute. Yeah, and by the way, that's two sides, either single or double sided. You can do color or black and white. No matter what you're putting yeah. in there, it's searchable. So for a lot of you going, well, what a great way to get rid of all of the receipts. I go to Home Depot all the time, right? You mm -hmm. buy stuff, and you're like, am I going to use all of that? I wish you could just let them all go away like that. <laughs> so I used to pin them to the side of a, a bulletin board on the side of my refrigerator, because I'm like, maybe I'll take it back, maybe I won't. Now, as soon as I get a receipt, I drop it into Neat, you put it into here. If you need the original again or a copy of it, you just print it out. Mm -hmm. But it's not just for what you can hold in your hand. It's kind of cool to be able to go and grab stuff from the web as well. And for the foodies out there, you are going to love this. Here's a recipe, right? Here's a recipe right, from David's page. So you're on QVC.com or your favorite website. Yep. So normally, in order to be able to take this buffalo chicken dip recipe and have it, have a copy of it, you'd have to print it. Mm -hmm. And you're going to print it, and you're going to put it in a binder, you're going to throw it in a box or something like that, and you're going to have to look for it later on. Check this out. So we go, and we go to the print mode. And we hit Control-P, and instead of looking for a printer, check out the upper left-hand corner of the screen right here. Send to Neat. It says Send to Neat. So we're not actually going to print it, but in a way we are. We're going to do a virtual print. So you hit the print button, mm -hmm. and now inside my interface here, I can actually go and search for, once I save it, I can go and search for anything that has to do with the word dip. So that was buffalo chicken okay. dip, but maybe I have other recipes that I've already put inside there. So dip. I'll type in the word dip and I'll hit search. It's going to go through and it's going to find everything mm -hmm. inside the neat database that matches dip. And look at that. Buffalo chicken dip, beer battered onion rings, <laughs> pulled, 
uh, spring rolls, anything that Someone, had dip anywhere likes in the some title. Dip here. Okay. In the title, in the recipe, all of that stuff. And then you're like, well, where is it? Can I search that? Yeah, you can. So buffalo chicken dip is right here. Not only can I see the document itself, but then I have the option. Oh, just like the page. Not only okay. like the page, check this out. Now I have the full page and I can see the original. Mm -hmm. Every single one of those ingredients I could go search later on. So one night you only have chicken, a piece of cheese, and a loaf of bread. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I've got start, buffalo chicken dip. <laughs> start, start typing with cheese, chicken, and dip and see what pops, pops up. up. Once you've put all that information in there, obviously this stuff does not come preloaded. It's up to you to go and decide what is it that I'm going to do with my neat desk. And what's cool about that is you've got the searchable engine, you've got all this stuff that goes away and essentially have a fax machine at the same time. And you look at this and go, well, that's not a fax machine. What does he mean by that? This is a pretty cool trick right here. There's only two buttons on the entire machine. There's a scan button mm -hmm. and there's a PDF button. So pardon my back. Mm -hmm. What if we take a document and we need to get, uh, I don't know, a release so that your kids can go on a field trip or you have to send something back to the insurance company. Take the document, sign it, then instead of hitting scan, put it inside here and hit PDF. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow you to save oh, I see where you're going. anywhere right. you want. And once you save it, now guess I what happens? Now I can email it you as an attachment. It. So now uh -huh. you can get rid of that stuff as well because everything that you scanned, you can automatically access here and sure enough, I bet you we have a copy of that document and it's also been signed. Oh, there it is. Now I can email. So you've got a scanner, you've got a fax machine, mm -hmm. and you've got a searchable engine that will allow you to look for anything. And I mean anything that you've ever put into the neat library, business cards, receipts. Um, well, you even mentioned to me, Brett, like if you have warranties, I say that yeah. everything, all the, that information that comes with purchases, they sit in I keep it in a boxes. file cabinet. It, yeah. I mean, I have a file cabinet of instruction manuals and warranties, and that takes up a lot of space, let alone for all my tax information. Yep. And right now we're in the process of buying a home. Oh my gosh, the amount it's of paperwork nightmare. they need. And like you said, to say, can you email it? I'm like, I don't even know how. So I, if I had it readily, all my tax information, my work information, um, even now with the end of the year, yep. your medical bills, if you want to file a claim with um, FSA, yep. right? Where do you keep all those bills that you've been paying? It, mine yeah. are in a big old shopping bag. That's not very neat or organized. And, and this does it all for you. Yeah, and keep in mind, if you've got documents that have writing on both sides, It'll take both sides at the same time. Like that manual. Yep. Mm -hmm. You'll have the choice of color and black and white. All of that stuff goes in and becomes instantly searchable. Then on top of it all, the IRS will accept a digital Electronic. copy. Okay. So you can throw away all of these receipts. Obviously, if you're submitting your taxes online now, they'll take the, the digital copies of them as well. But how do you do it? You load them up. And hit scan. Seven years of paperwork, that's a lot to store. That's a so why don't we do it online or on digitally yep. in our computers? And remember, just two buttons. It's two I mean, buttons. Even if I did this just at the minimum, Brett, right? Yeah. I'm getting rid of all the paper. Yeah, and it's little by little. You don't have to do it all at once. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to. No, I, I didn't even show you this. I actually built categories. So I've got my bills. I've got all the stuff that I do with my car and the insurance, the payments and stuff like that. All of my business cards are in there, recipes. You can go inside and customize any of this stuff. And if it doesn't capture what you want or you decide you want to make notes later on, you simply go inside here and populate and any of the categories that are there. And you have the ability too to customize what, what, uh, which way they show up, where they're searchable. Look at this. So let's look for a And I do want to here. remind you that this is on Easy Pay tonight. Five easy payments. The shipping and handling is free, saving you over $13. Let me tell you, this is just going to get you organized. It's going to clear away all that paper clutter uh, that you have stored. Where, where do you keep it right now? Right? Is it in a closet? Right? Is under it the your, bed. Is your under the bed, right? <laughs> home office. Is your home office just a bunch of bins? Thumb tacked next to the refrigerator <laughs> with all of my Home Depot receipts from before. Uh -huh. Everything becomes searchable immediately. So you can get rid of the business cards, the receipts, all of this stuff, and then you'll still have a digital copy of it for any time you need it. Pretty well, cool, huh? It, it's pretty neat. Yeah. All there you right. E two two five eight seven eight is your item number for the neat desk desktop scanner, but it's so much more than that. Brett Hamilton.